In its weekly meeting yesterday, the Cabinet of Ministers approved the proposal tabled by Prime Minister Mahindra Rajpaksha in his capacity as the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs of a vote and account to the tune of 1,735 billion rupees. Accordingly, 760 billion rupees is said to be used to continue the process of government public services, 970 billion rupees for the expenditures previously authorised by different laws and 5 billion rupees for the government advance account. The Cabinet also approved the proposal to appoint a committee comprising of experts in the government and private sector with sufficient qualifications to prepare a national market policy for Sri Lanka. Meanwhile, the proposal to implement the procurement process in accordance with the policy framework to construct 60 megawatt wind power plants and 150 megawatt solar power plants, which should be connected to the power system by 2020, was also given the Cabinet's nod. The power plants are conducted under the 2018-2037 long-term generation expansion plan initiated by the Electricity Board. Meanwhile, in order to set up a transparent and simple wide-based tax management system with less tax ratio to promote local enterprises such as small and medium-scale enterprise sector, professional and other services and agriculture activities, the Cabinet also approved several actions to be taken immediately. Proposal by Prime Minister Mahindra Rajpaksha in his capacity as the Minister of Finance includes Exemptions of entrepreneurs, especially small-scale entrepreneurs gaining income from any agriculture earnings such as tea, spices, coconut, rubber, paddy, fruit and vegetables for a period of five years. Action to be taken also include the reduction of the tax ratio on profits gained from locally processed to agricultural products from 28% to 14%. Meanwhile, it says steps must be taken to reduce the price of some goods and fuel in order to reduce the cost of living of low-income families while taking necessary measures to reduce the price of the other essential goods. Following the decisions by the Cabinet of Ministers, Cabinet co-spokespersons then responded to questions raised by journalists at the media briefing today. We strongly reject the statements which claim that the appointment of the Prime Minister and the government are illegal. We won't have any problem accepting if the Supreme Court says otherwise. The President has the right to call for a vote of account which would last until the end of March. Even if the Supreme Court says that the President doesn't hold such power, we would still have to present a vote of account by 1st of January to cover all the expenses. But then we don't think any such problem would arise. <laughs> We haven't decided yet. We will decide on a course of action after the parliamentary group meeting tomorrow. There are several arguments. As for the 36th standing order, we can't talk about an ongoing issue taken up at the court in parliament. So we can't debate president's powers within the parliament. We have to do it in the Supreme Court. So, there is an argument that it is wrong to present the no-confidence motion at the parliament like this. We will anyway discuss and come to a decision on this at the meeting tomorrow. I am talking about the situation right now. On, on, on one issue. Yes. The issue the, is the, against the, the present Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Ministers. Exactly, yes. They are, they have 121, they the, say. The Parliament has clearly divided on two groups. On one side, no, you can't you say that. I, I challenge that you can't say that. You can't say two groups. They because say, they say that. On this DNA. particular issue, but there is a group. You can't say that they are going to group together on every issue. We won't because he is working on the agreement of 122 parliamentarians. He will of course be protected by them during a no-confidence motion and in turn he will protect them. This is nothing to do with not having a majority. The Hansard shows that they called Kiriala the leader of the house yesterday. We can't imagine as to how it is possible that the leader of the house opposition leader and chief opposition whip all be from the left side. This is no way to continue with the government. The parliament is protected under parliamentary privileges. We can't take any action because the speaker won't appoint a parliament privileges committee. So nothing can be done even if anyone brings knives and bombs into parliament. Same goes for anything that gets damaged within the house.